All right, so one more example here using the ratio test. So here we've got the series from 1 to infinity of 7 to the n over e to the n. You might recognize this as a geometric series, uh, but we can use the ratio test all the same. So the limit is n goes to infinity. So everywhere there's an n, we're going to plug in n plus 1. And then we would divide by the original. But again, dividing by the original is equivalent to multiplying by the flip of it. So uh, we'll have the limit as n goes to infinity, 7 to the n plus 1 over e to the n plus 1. And then again, I'm just taking my original, flipping it. Well, now we can simplify this. We've got 7 to the n plus 1 over 7 to the n. That's going to leave us with a 7 in the numerator. e to the n over e to the n plus 1 is going to leave us with an e to the first power. Well, this limit is just 7 over e, but e again is roughly you know, 2.71 dot dot dot. So 7 over 2.71 whatever, that's definitely a number greater than 1. And since it's greater than 1, that tells us that our series is divergent. And again, you could have recognized this again as being a geometric series. 7 over e raised to the n. Um, again, the r value for it to be convergent has to be between negative 1 and 1. 7 over e definitely doesn't fit that. Again, so this would be an example of a divergent geometric series. So it's certainly going to be the case for uh, a lot of series. There's many different ways to sort of justify whether they converge or diverge. So um, kind of keep that in mind. I think some ways are certainly a little bit easier. Some ways are certainly can be a little bit more tedious.